everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story <coughs> and today's the Bible title is God's Amazing Premise, Abraham is Called by God <laughs> Let's read Abraham lived in Haran, Abraham, God said, I want you to leave Haran and go to another land. God didn't tell Abraham where he must, where that was. Trust me, God said. So Abraham lived in Haran. Like he was living there very for very many time years. So uh, that was the good place to Abraham. But. Now God was saying like, to leave, leave the Haran. So God said, trust me. And also God didn't tell where he must go. Oh, I know. Oh no. Do this, God said, and your children will become a great nation. How? Abraham wondered. His wife Sarah was too old to have a children. Trust me. So, God said, trust me, do this. You will have a great nation. And like, the Abraham was like, what? Sorry, Sarah's too old to have a children. But still, God was saying, trust me. I don't know why in the picture, only Sarah is only making a see. You found the Bible to end. David defeats his animal enemies. Question God Sorry, did God tell Abraham where he must go? No. Oh sorry. Go there, I tell you, God said, and you will have a more distance than there are stars in the sky. They will bless the whole world, whole world, trust me. So Abraham was, you know, and God was saying, but you will have more distance than the star stars. Wow. That's very like Sarah is too old to have a baby also. But God is saying you will have a more star more than stars to stand. Wow. And also, he said that he will bless the whole world. Okay, Sarah is making a soup. I don't know why I always say I like making a soup. This is a sound of a cow. So Abraham trusted God. He took Sarah, his nap, to Lot, and everything they want. Oh, and he went there 
God told him to go. He went to the land of Kenya. So what? Abraham trusts God. So he have gone somewhere. Somewhere. With his wife Sarah and his nephew. Lot and every kind, every animal, not like the every kind of animal, his animals. And he went to the land of Kenya. Finally, Master is not making a soup. The donkey doesn't want to go. Question: God said Abraham would be <laughs> would have more distance than their stars. Then when the when he arrived, Abraham counted at Shechem. God appeared to him. I will give this land to your land to you and your children. God said, Abraham, build an altar to God there. So he have one camp on the Shechem. Shechem. And like God appeared to him like and said, like, you you and your, this land is for you and your children. And Abraham built an altar. Oh no. Sarah is like, kept making a suit, but except one picture. I don't know why Sarah's kid went making my suit. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Abraham traveled around God's promised land. He was glad that he had trust God, so he had Build an altar. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Traveled around God's plan, promised land. He was glad that he had trust God. So he built another altar to give thanks God for all he had been promised. So look, Abraham has came and trust God and come to this land, yeah, the promised land. And he was traveling around the land, but it was very good then, I guess. So, it, so he have saw the promised land, yeah. He said, so thank you for this, yeah. And he was glad to trust God. And he built another altar to give thanks what he have done. Oh no. Also... Not making a soup. <laughs> Question Abraham built an altar to God, giving thanks for all he had been promised. <coughs> yes, today I read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title was God's Amazing Promise. Then let's see you next time. Bye!